The 23-24 winter season was the polar opposite to the 22-23 season in by way of the fact that there was far less snowfall across the whole entire country. I mean, this is somewhat to be expected as the 22-23 winter season smashed resort records across the west with the likes of Alta and Mammoth Mountain both seeing more than 900 inches of snow. Many entered the start of the season with high hopes of good snowfall but November was on the warm side and it was really only Utah that saw decent snowfalls by the end of the month. Colorado got some snow in late October and California was looking exceptionally dry as Mammoth Mountain only saw four days of snow across the whole month of December. Not exactly what the travelers had hoped for as they'd booked their ski trips over the Christmas and New Year's break. But that's the snow season for you. Sometimes it nukes, and other times you're sliding on groomers manufactured out of man-made snow. As the new year rolled around, many of the resorts started to see snowfalls increase, which allowed for much more terrain to open up. This is also really when winter started to set in, as the consistent snowfalls continued all the way through to the end of the season. In this video, we're going to take a look at which resorts in the United States saw the largest snowfall during the 23-24 winter season. All of the snowfall reports have been taken directly from the ski resort websites as of the 25th of April 2024. There are of course the usual suspects in the top of the list, but the number one spot might surprise you, or you might even not know it exists. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. Subscribe and hit that bell icon to stay up to date with all of our latest videos. When we first started writing this list, it was about mid-April and the number 10 spot was held by a resort in Utah. However, thanks to some late season snowfalls in Oregon, Mount Hood Meadows has crept into the top 10. Located on the southeastern slopes of Mount Hood, the ski resort is no stranger to large snowfalls. However, due to the proximity of the ocean, the snow that falls here is not the light fluffy stuff which you'll find in Utah or Wyoming. Mount Hood Meadows has collected 434 inches or 11 meters of snow during the winter season, which means they're able to offer riding for a few more weeks and they have plans to stay open till May 18th. Grand Tarkey Resort is typically in the top 10 for the snowiest resorts and this season they've landed at number nine, thanks to 438 inches or 11.2 meters of snow. The snowfall at Grand Tarkey has been consistent all season with an average of 85 inches falling per month, which is about 2.5 inches per day. The resort is situated on the western side of the Teton Range in Wyoming, which allows for extensive snowfall accumulation as storms roll in from the north and the west before getting stuck on the mountain range and depositing insane snowfalls. Just over the mountain range from Grand Tarkey is Jackson Hole Mountain Resort, which proudly sits at number eight on the list with just under 10 inches more snowfall. 447 inches or 11.35 meters of cold smoke powder fell across the slopes with the largest majority of this snowfall happening in the last few months. In late January, the resort had to make the hard decision to not run the world famous Kings and Queens of Corbett event due to the lack of snow. However, fast forward to March 2nd, and the resort broke its 24 hour snowfall record with 30 inches of snow falling across the rendezvous bowl, which also resulted in the resort not being able to open due to the extreme avalanche risk. The 23, 24 winter season certainly was full of surprises across Jackson Hole. The first and only Californian ski resort to make it into the list is the one that claims to consistently get the most snow of all the resorts in Lake Tahoe. Number seven on the list is none other than Sugar Bowl in California. Sugar Bowl's location on Donna Pass means that they're the first resort to see the storms as they climb up into the Tahoe Basin before getting to the right elevation to start depositing their payloads of snowfall. Whilst it's not the 700 plus inches the resort saw last season, a modest 481 inches or 12.1 meters of snow has fallen across the slopes at Sugar Bowl this season. And most of the snowfall has come from a collective of atmospheric rivers, which happened during February through to early March. 
The Pacific Northwest has had a questionable season. However, two resorts have made it into our list. Mount Hood Meadows was located at number 10, and the second resort is also located in Oregon. It is the most western location resort in the lower 48 on this list, and it is no stranger to insane snowfalls during the winter season. They also, hands down, offer the best summer skiing operation in North America. Yes, number six on the list is Timberline Lodge, which can be found on the southern slopes of Mount Hood. Powerful storms from the Pacific have left 515 inches or 13 meters of snowfall at the resort and with a base of 129 inches still to be found at the resort, chances are they will be riding the summit lifts well into June. Now we're sliding into the top five and four of these resorts all call the same state home. Let's not kid ourselves. I think we all know what state this is and where in that state these resorts are located. Number five is, of course, Solitude Mountain Resort, which calls Big Cottonwood Canyon its home. Solitude is the first of two resorts within the canyon, and this season they've seen 530 inches, or 13.46 metres, of fluffy, dry Utah snow fall across the ski resort. Solitude claims to get an average of 500 inches of snow per season, so the extra 30 inches on top we think it's safe to say this Utah Ski Resort has had a bang on average season. Ask any advanced or expert rider, where is the best place to ride on a 20 inch powder day? It's highly likely that Snowbird is going to be at the top of the list or at least the top three. When it comes to the total snowfalls for the 23-24 winter season, Snowbird was able to collect 557 inches or 14.1 meters of snow. This puts Snowbird in the fourth spot in our top 10 list. As is with most resorts in Utah, it started off as rather dry, but as the season creeped through to the new year, the storm started backing up, ready to kick the winter season into gear. Snowbird was then hit with 120 inches in January, 140 inches in February, and 109 inches in March, which has led to some incredible days on the mountain, as well as a few interlodge events. As we move into the top three, it's kind of obvious from here out who is going to be the next resort on this list. The question remains, is it in the big or little Cottonwood Canyon that this ski resort calls itself home? Well, it's the bigger of the two, which means that we must be talking about Brighton Mountain Resort. Over the course of the winter season, Brighton has collected a cool 559 inches or just over 14.2 meters of snow, which has allowed for some incredibly deep powder days. And just like the other Utah resorts, the best days were in February and March. If you were to hike to the very top of the Black Bees Peak, don't know where that is? Look directly above Solitude Mountain Resort. From here, you can look down over the whole entire ski resort that proudly sits at the number two on this list. For those who frequent the Cottonwood Canyons, you would have already identified this resort as Alta Ski Area. Since opening in November, Alta has accumulated 621 inches or 15.7 meters of the greatest snow on earth. We've experienced it firsthand and the Utah number plates do not lie. Whilst last season the resort broke records with over 900 inches of snow, a simple 600 inch season puts it above average whereas 900 inches of snow is absolutely bonkers and sometimes a little too much to handle. The king of snowfall during the 23-24 winter season is none other than Alaska Ski Resort in Alaska. Alaska is the most northern major ski resort in North America and typically sees incredible snowfalls due to this fact. A whopping 738 inches or 18.75 meters of snow has fallen across the slopes of the resort with no standout months. It was really just snowing all season long. The resort joined the Icon Pass this season. However, due to its extremely remote location, the crowds will never be like that of what you see at Palisades Tahoe or any of the other Icon resorts in Colorado.